Awesome, everybody. Well, welcome to show number 452 of our Wake Up series, where each and every video we do is brought to you to help you and or a customer of Mailbox Power get the most efficient and effective use out of the tool and system. So what we like to do is on this particular call, we have a persona, uh, a customer, an avatar, or someone uh, that we want to help out get the most use out of the system. And I brought together a bunch of my favorite and closest friends, uh, Mailbox Power affiliates, to help us create a brain trust or a mastermind uh, exchange of ideas to help crack open the idea and the nut of how we can all get a better use out of the system. Okay, so today's persona is one we've never done before. Um, and I'm very excited. So are you ready who our persona is today? So you're going to want to take a couple of notes on this persona. And then we're going to open it up and allow each of us uh, to share their idea, how we help this person get the most out of Mailbox Power and their experience with us. Okay? Are you ready? Here is the persona. The persona is you. The persona this morning is you. You are our ideal persona that we want to help get the most use out of the Mailbox Power system. So uh, I think every single person on this call has been around Mailbox Power. You've seen many, many videos. You've had many, many ideas. However, some of those never get executed upon. Some of those uh, may need a little teasing out uh, of how it works and what the thought processes are. But today I want to think about how you would help you get the most out of your Mailbox Power experience. So some of you might have a pro account. Some of you might have an executive account. If you remember right, our executive account gives you 200 free cards inside the system each and every month. Use them or lose them. That goes on your subscription day. If you have a pro account, you have 50 free, 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 free greeting cards. Uh, uh, that you can use uh, in a given month, use them or lose them, changes on your subscription day. And if you are uh, playing the birthday challenge game, you'll get an additional 50 free greeting cards each and every month, simply for adding 30 names to a birthday automation. Okay, so today we want to help you. And I actually think there's a bunch of us that know how we could help ourselves. We just sometimes need to verbalize it get it out into the space and sort of recommit to something that we think could help us use the mailbox power system better that just for whatever reason we have it. Right. So I'm giving you a little bit of time to come up with how you can use the system better for you and your business. Now, we recognize that some of you are building a mailbox power affiliate business. Some of you have a business outside of mailbox power that you simply know you could use this for better. So if you're going to tell us a way that you could use the system better. If it's for an outside business, just say, hey, I run a barber shop. Here's how we could use it better. Or, hey, I run a pet grooming business. Here's how we could use it better. Or, hey, I'm a franchise owner for BNI. This is how we could use it better. Um, but we're really looking for how you can use it better, either in an outside business or your mailbox power business. Okay. So, and I realized uh, that last night uh, I reread my text to Vanessa when she asked me what we were going to do this morning. I reread it and I, I was like, there is no way she is going to understand from my text what exactly we're going to actually talk about. And uh, she would probably think that we were having Bailey's last night um, <laughs> when I was writing that text. So with that, uh, let's open it up. John Garrett, how are you going to help you use the Mailbox Power System better? You know, the first thing that came to mind was that last year I left, uh, or this year, uh, which will soon be the last year, I've left a lot of cards on the table, free cards. So I think... My key is to use the, the the cards that come with my account, whether they're 50 or 200. In this case, right now, it's still 50, and make sure I get those out to my customers. I and my cust my active customer list every month with something useful for them, and um, also use the postcards. Get some kind of postcard drive going on where every month I'm touching folks and I'm finding out in the promotional products business. If you touch people and you remind them you're there they remember there are things that they need to promote their businesses. So that's what I'll try to do starting next month uh, with my account. Awesome, John. Thank you for that. And uh, I, you and I must be on the same wavelength because I 
about two months ago, I made the commitment to Vanessa that I will not have a single free card go unused. Right. And I just know that by just adding that right into the mix, that will make the use of the system even more efficient for me. So great job, John. I'm looking forward to having you in our executive plan uh, up to 200. Uh, awesome. So let's go up to Mike and Brenda Sanchez today. It looks like it is just Brenda Sanchez. <laughs> so Mike's here, but he's in the background. So um, what I'm going to do and what I teach others to do is exactly that. Don't leave any of those complementary cards on the table. And the way to do that is to create a group called card a month or a clients or circle of influence, whatever you want to call it. We choose to call it card a month and add either 50 or 200 people to that. Now you're done. For a whole year, you put them in a 12 month campaign. It can be around the holidays. You can go, we've got lots of stuff in the design catalog that you can go pick a 12 month campaign out, add that group to it. And guess what? You're never going to lose out on any of those complimentary cards. And then on top of that, make sure you add every single one of those to your birthday and half birthday. And now you are getting almost the most out of the system. There's lots more you can do with it. But if you're going to do just the minimum, that's what I would recommend. Yeah, absolutely awesome, Brenda. And you can, whatever list you want to create, whether it's your top clients, maybe it's your top 100 dream clients, maybe it's just a top 100 friends. It might be just family members. Maybe it's even people that you don't like. Um, it could be whatever, but getting all those folks into one group to make it really efficient is an easy way to not leave cards uh, on the table. Absolutely awesome. So I, I heard this one time as, as, you know, these cards are like worker bees. And right now they're in your beehive in your account. We need to let them send them out of the hive uh, and let them and let them bring back uh, bring back the honey, right? So uh, don't leave cards in the hive. So great job, uh, Brenda. Gabriella. Good morning. I'm going to share three separate perspectives. First one is going to be when I used to run my previous business which was not specific to Mailbox Power, but I used um, Mailbox Power in that business. And I used it to say thank you to the people that would um, send me business. I built it entirely on referrals. And so it became a huge uh, part and hugely impactful when someone would send me a referral to my previous business that I would say thank you and I would do other things to throughout the year to maintain the relationship with them. So knowing the power of using it to maintain relationships with uh, people that help grow your revenues was huge for me. The second perspective I'm going to share is many people have heard that I'm very active in a service club and I use it in my service club all the time. And it helps us raise donations in the service club. And I think that's really, really important because especially when um, there's times when we wind up being not together and service clubs tend to be a insular family, family of their own. We, get, um, we create solid, deep friendships, but when we find ourselves apart, finding ways to bring us back together is really important. And I started sending birthday and half birthday and general greetings to them um, because of that. And everybody in the club thanked me and said it was a really, really key thing that made us all feel um, like we were still a family when we found ourselves really, really apart um, during when everything was shut down. So bringing, so bringing a service club or a community-based organization tighter and closer together um, in, in this crazy world where we seem to be moving apart. So yes. church, church groups, nonprofit groups, service organizations like Lions, Kiwanis, yes. VHF, or no, VF, VFW, whatever the veterans, I, I get them, I get all those, all those, all those mixed up. So service-based organization. Okay. And a third one. That, that, and we also, it also has become something where when people in the club receive their birthday and half birthday from me, they use it as an opportunity to give a donation to the club, which is a big part of how these clubs um, operate is, is generating donations. Okay. Um, the third perspective is as an affiliate, 
Um, I've been an affiliate with Mailbox Power since day one, and I was growing my business and things kind of went quiet for a while and I needed a kickstart again. So in September, I went into our design store and I found a whole slew of designs, both paid and free. And I put together my own seven touch campaign because we're in a Zoom world. So I probably do more Zooms than everybody on this call because I like to, <laughs> but I meet a lot of people on Zoom and I found an awesome card that was nice to meet you on Zoom and I used it as part of a campaign that now is seven touches. It starts with nice to meet you on Zoom. It then follows with um, key to your success. It then follows with now that we have the foot in the door and has four more touches ending with a, I didn't forget you with the forget me not seeds. Um, it goes over 75 days. And every time I meet somebody who I think is a quality prospect to use Mailbox Power in their own business, I start this seven touch campaign. I've sent it out to about 35 people. And I think six of them have um, at minimum gotten trial accounts. And um, I think four of them have gone from trial to act, uh, active accounts as a result of receiving this seven touch campaign. So okay. for me as an affiliate, re recognizing that I can use the platform to generate people into my um, affiliate program to use it for their own business, it's also um, very, very powerful. Okay, awesome. So when we meet people on Zoom or at a chamber event or at a networking event, taking them offline and getting them into our Mailbox Power account and then starting that process of showing them just exactly what we can do. Awesome, I love that. Machen. Good morning, Casey, legends, everyone. Uh, I am a, an agency owner, I'm a marketer. And so I, I really appreciate the challenge today because I wasn't expecting this but you push me to think, how can I use it differently? Something I'm not doing currently. And I came up with something that I'm definitely gonna, uh, you know, run the numbers and give it a little test because I, I do have an account that gives the free cards and, and you know, has all those, those benefits. So uh, what I was thinking is a newsletter, right? I have a, a, a marketing agency. And so I can provide a monthly newsletter, not just to my top clients, but to anyone who's willing to subscribe and take them offline and and show up in their mailbox with tips, tricks, things that they'll keep at their desk, things that, that make an impact, you know, uh, real value, just value bombs. And then that way I can circle back and pick up the phone, the 5,000 pound brick, I think Joe calls it, and, uh, and, and ask for their business, kind of earn that ability to ask for their business. That was the biggest one. And what I was actually thinking is I could actually use that to generate additional income in my business. I'm currently running ads and then giving a guide, a comprehensive guide. It's, it's really just as an affiliate, it's all my tools that I use in a list. And I give those to people and I'm doing it with a Facebook ad that triggers mailbox power currently, but I could take this and anybody who's ever opted into that, I can now sell them a monthly subscription of my newsletter and have mailbox power do all the hard work. I just upload my PDF into the document center. So that was the thought. That was the idea. Yeah. Awesome. Machen. So a couple of things on that. Number one, all those people that do opt in for your list of free tools, you could actually create a campaign on postcard or on greeting card with a deep explanation of each of those tools, one card per tool that gets set up in a campaign. And now you're actually generating revenue on those affiliate sales as they go. There's another really fun tool. And I will be honest, I have not done my research on this before I recommend it, but there is a site where you can go create a word search. Um, you put in the name, the words that you want to find, have them circle and click it. And then you could actually put that as the top half of a card and create a fun word search around search, search terms for your particular business. So keep them kind of fun. Um, and then maybe you have a piece of content on the back. But I love the newsletter idea where it keeps it fun and fresh and people look forward to getting that card every month because they're going to get some value, obviously all driving back to uh, Machen's agency. So awesome. Awesome. Eileen Meckley. Hi. Well, I like to think of Mailbox Power for me as an affiliate and with working with other people as a key to engagement. So I really want to be sure that I become more and more engaged with different people. That means through current to current customers, reconnecting, 
and follow up. And so one thing I started doing in the month, I think it was November, I decided to look, I love the order history where we can see the full order history. And I would look and I would say, Tracy, did you receive my birthday card in the mail? I know the mail can be a little tricky these days. And suddenly we were engaged in conversation. So just really going back, using that full order history and just asking if they received the card. That's something I think we can do to keep people engaged. And then the same thing with reconnecting and, and the follow-up. So I think it's just an incredible resource to put your word. I love it's a resource and it's a resource we can all use for that. Yeah, and Eileen, what I love about that is I, I, I look at it as, as kind of like the green dot recircle game, if I were gonna call the game that. And that is, it is one of those things where you send them a card. Well, you could actually send somebody a, a Facebook message or a LinkedIn message. Say, hey, I'm going to send you a card. Then you send them a card. Then you recircle back around and say, hey, did you get the card? That's three touches for the price of 50 cents. Exactly. Right. And if we're playing the engagement and the relationship building game, the more touches, the better. Yes. Right. And so what Eileen's really doing is she's kind of putting that into the space and now she's following up to make sure, hey, did you get that card? Which is just another reason for her to reach out and have that conversation. So fantastic. Awesome, Eileen. Helen. Good morning. Um, with me, what I do is I've got my birthday, half birthday up, and I am starting to add more people to it because I kind of stopped adding people to it. So now I'm going after that. If I come across a meme that I really, really like, I'll throw it on a card and I have a group of customers that I just send it out to. Um, and just to keep them going and then I was sort of like thinking we need a little more fun in our day and so I've started up a monthly have you laughed today card series that's going over 12 months and I started it at, in October so um, it's going along quite nicely and getting great reactions out of that and then I also use the national day calendar to find those quirky little days that I can send things out on and I have a few that are that are favorites that I like to send things out on and do things with. In fact, and when I did was in October sing last year, I did an October 17th is um, National Singing Day, I think it was, or Song Day or something like that. So I got on a Zoom, invited people to come on a Zoom and we all sang, I'd like to teach the world to sing. So I do quirky things like that with it. Awesome. And Helen, what can you do differently from this point forward to help you be more efficient with all of those, uh, all of those different programs? Um, well, the Have You Laughed Today is an automation that just runs and I just add people to it. Um, the birthday is getting people into my birthday club, so I'm inviting them in. Um, with the with the National Day and the memes, probably doing something that's more formal and instead of just doing, I see one that I like and I'll send it out, probably doing something with an automation where I'm not having to come up with things all the time. I just come up with different things and toss it out there. Okay. And Helen, I'm going to stick with you for just one second because I'm trying to pull this one out of you. Um, you know, when you say, oh, I just add people to my birthday club, is there a marker that you commit to every single month for adding people to that birthday automation? I haven't been, but I will be, where I'll be going through. And if I see people coming through on Facebook with a birthday, go say, hey, can I add you to my birthday campaign? Okay, so I will, uh, I'll tag into, uh, I'll tag into what Helen said, because I think she kind of sparked it. Um, if you fill out your birthday automation, birthday away challenge sheet every single month, which just goes to adding 30 people to your birthday automation, two things are going to happen. Well, three things are going to happen. Number one, you're going to get some amazing feedback on social media and your phone uh, on your birthday card. And if you do a half birthday card, you'll do a, you'll get it two times a year. That's number one. Number two, um, you're, if you send in your one birthday away challenge, which means you add 30 people to your birthday automation and you commit to that, you simply fill that sheet in, send it into the company. The company is going to reward you with 50 free additional cards uh, next month, right? Now that is a huge way. You add 30, but they give you 50. Think about the math. You add 30, but they give you 50. They're almost giving you um, one for one for a birthday and a half birthday for almost next to nothing, just for your commitment in adding 30 people to that birthday um, each and every month. And on top of that, uh, you are entered into a drawing for uh, $1,000 cash money um, at the end of every month. So if you think about it that way, for me, that's a huge enough incentive to make sure that I do that every single month. So no more willy-nilly birthday automation adding, oh, I'm going to try this, I might do this over here. For me, that is a non-negotiable commitment from this point forward. So 
Great job, Helen. Cindy Lee. Well, good morning. How everybody. can you help you use the system more efficiently and effectively this year? Well, I am a raffle liaison for this polar plant here in Huntington Beach. It's called the Surf City Splash. There's about 500 of us who went into the ocean. There's a pancake breakfast. There's a raffle, um, whole raffle, and it's it just absolutely crazy. And this year, um, I'm, I'm with the Surf Rider Foundation, and so I'm the raffle liaison for them. And I've actually gathered more raffle items than anybody who's ever done it. Over 55, close to 60 items, including and raffle did you and use mailbox. Did you use mailbox power to solicit those raffle prizes? I am. So what we're doing is I actually um, talked to the educational chair and I said, hey, you know, I'm with this company that can send thank yous to everyone who donated to the raffle. He goes, that's perfect. So that's actually what we're going to be doing every single year. And then also the members of the Surfrider Foundation, I send them a birthday card and a gift every single year. I've been doing this for about four years. So okay. it's just a great, way, great tool. And is there any way you could help you use the system more or more efficiently this year? I want to say, um, number one, one of the things that I like, I did it in a, a very similar company, but what I like doing is the gigagrams and I actually have it available for anybody who wants it. I created a gigagram for anybody in mailbox power and um, it's like a vision board. So you can put all your, it's blank in the inside and you can put all your visions with the four quadrants inside there. I think that's really crucial to tell yourself. And I have a big card that I do and also have a postcard that's in my car to remind myself of my goals. And of course, for my podcast, um, to appreciate those who come on my podcast. It's super, super important. Okay, awesome. So Laura, how can we help you help you use the system more? So we're giving lots of great examples of how we are currently using it. I'm looking for the stretch. I'm looking for the way that you know we could be using the system better for ourselves that we might just be missing. So Laura, how can you help you use the system more or more efficiently or effectively? Well, um, this coming year, as I learn more and learn better, I'm going to do better. And as my mailbox powers helped me increase my income, I'm going to go back and update my automated things that go out like my birthdays and half birthdays with bigger bigger budget items because I can afford that as my budget increases and I'm also planning on using the list builder to niche right into some very specific markets this year um, that I didn't concentrate on as well as I should have in prior years okay awesome so we're going to we're going to change out our birthday cards I need to do that as well I'm <laughs> guilty of that as well uh, and then we're also going to maybe add some additional budget to items to each of those cards. And one of the reasons I really love that, Laura, is that you wouldn't do that if you didn't feel you were making more money on each of those cards going out. The reason our budgets are increasing is because when our phone rings and our business grows, it gives us more flexibility. And the funny thing is the sun has just come up and now I look like I am some sort of weird uh, lighting design uh, gone mm -hmm. wrong. Uh, which, which is, which is how we roll in the in the land of Los Angeles. So, uh, okay, Gail Foley. Okay, well, you're not weird. You're unique, and that makes all of us unique here. Um, what I plan to do, which I've been leaving on the table, is I attend a lot of in-person networking. I want to learn to use the phone app so that when I'm in this environment, I don't take the card. I make them do the phone thing because it's going to be much more effective and something will go out then rather than waiting for me to get back to my office later on. So okay. that's my plan to get that figured out and use it all the time. Awesome. And Gail, when you do that, um, if I might just throw in into the mix here for any of you that want to take this, take this on is to go into a live networking event with some purpose and uh, some intention. Right. So if you're going to go in there and, and um, you know, even when Gabriella was saying, well, I'm going to send these people, I meet them on Zoom, I might ask you to look and say, if you go into that environment, go in with a plan. I'm walking out with three contacts that I am going to uh, to meet. I'm going to add four people to my birthday campaign or um, some kind of intentionality and some purpose. I think it'll be really useful and actually it'll get done. So excellent, Gail. Anybody else? Yeah, Brian. 
How can mm-hmm. you help you use the system more and effectively? Well, I, I was doing some writing over the weekend for a video I was working on. And one of the slides is helping you help yourself. And I find that sometimes the keyboard weighs a thousand pounds that I don't want to send, sit down and simply make a card and send out some gratitude. So what I'm proposing for myself is a one, well, actually a three or a seven card gratitude challenge a day. Um, If I'm on a 30 card program, then I'm going to be sending more cards than what my system is allowing me to send for free. And if I'm on the executive, which I am, and I've fallen short the last three months, I haven't used up all my cards. So if I would send seven gratitude cards a day, I'd be sending 210 gratitude cards a month. And we know what we send out comes back to us. Um, So that's my my step along with what John had referred to at the beginning of the month. I got to challenge myself to do this thing because I, I don't have the habit. So what I thought was for myself is I can't be on this call I'm not allowed to come to this call unless I've sent seven cards before I come to this call. And why don't I do that? It only takes about a half hour to send seven cards. So instead of getting here at eight o'clock, why don't I get on my computer at 7.15 and send seven cards and then get on the call? Awesome. Thanks, Brian. What I love about that is you could take this call as being a positive reinforcement or a negative, right? So you can either punish yourself for not getting out the seven cards. I might suggest in the spirit and the mindset of gratitude that you reward yourself with being able to jump on this call as a result of you uh, doing those seven cards. So great, great perspective on that. So we'll finish it up with Mary Warren. I'll pop over to Vanessa and then we will, uh, we'll put a lid on this one. Mary Warren. Hi. Yes. So for me, what I have been doing the last couple of months, so I haven't really seen yet quite the results that I would like to see yet, but is I go into the list builder. I build a specific list of companies, businesses, or individuals that I am looking to add to my mailbox power customers. And I send them the whatever I have left of my free cards for the month, which I have the 200. So it's usually at least 50 or more um, that I have to just send out. And those people don't know me. So in the card, I usually say something like, I know we don't know each other yet, but this is how I might be able to help you. And it's getting a little bit of response. It's only been a couple of months. So we'll see how it goes down the road. But I think that that is a really powerful tool that we have in Mailbox Power that is is something that is really underutilized sometimes. And um, I know that a lot of people think, well, cold outreach and, but it's a matter of just getting the numbers out there, so. Awesome, and Mary, is there anything that you can do or come up with an idea that you're currently not doing, but that you know you could do um, that's a little bit more? I think (laughs) what I do need to do is, do more follow up with the cards. Um, A lot of times I do send out a a one-off or something like that. And then I just kind of let it be Um, or even using it more to thank people. Um, I do like, if I get something from someone else, whether it's be, um, you know, online or offline, I just tend to either text them or call them, but I could also send that in the mail and say, you know, that extra mile that is what's important. Awesome. Awesome. Vanessa, you've been listening to all of this. Is there anything that sticks out in your brain, uh, in your strategic marketing mastery brain uh, that we could do uh, or that you even thought that you could use to help you grow this, uh, your own business? Or if there was something that somebody else sparked that kind of gave you that aha moment, I just want to open it up and allow you to, to share it if you'd like. Thank you, Casey. I think the whole call is an aha moment for all of us to take stock of what we're doing well and what we're not doing well. And you probably saw me madly writing an entire list of people that I'm not keeping in touch with well enough right now. And I have a whole page here. I've gone on to the next page. 
of people that I need to keep in better touch with. So now I've just committed while we're on this call to uh, creating a monthly mailing to these people who are either, uh, some are brand new friends that aren't on my list yet. Some are family members that I would like to strengthen the relationship with, not immediate family, but cousins and people all around the world that I'm not good at keeping in touch with. And then some, I wrote a list of my top 12 people uh, who I would like to build stronger relationships with in the business world. And I also wrote a list of people that um, I'm already friends with in the business world, but I'm not great at keeping in touch with. So I ha now have four new categories of people to add to various automations that I'll be sending three of them on a monthly basis, one on a quarterly basis. Awesome. And what I love is what Vanessa just did is she essentially created four top 100 lists. We've mm -hmm. talked about these on our Monday night calls every once in a while about your top 100 influencers, your top 100 blank, your top 100 family members, your top 100 people you met on airplanes, your top 100 whatever, and be able to continuously reach out and deepen and build those relationships. So fantastic. As we bring this call to a close, Andrea Manning has decided to step up and step in with an amazing business quote as we end out today's call. Well, thank you so much, Casey, and Happy New Year to everyone who I might not see between now and uh, January 1st. Patience and perseverance have a magical effect, which creates difficulties to disappear and ob obstacles to vanish. And that was by John Quincy Adams a few years ago. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. I hope this call has helped. This call will be in the Facebook affiliates group. It will also be in our Mailbox Power user group, and it will also be put up on our private YouTube channel, but I will make it shareable at pastlegendscalls.com. So we'll see you guys next time.